Hey folks, Rinium Tea Care, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Dawn Trail. We are back out in Heritage Found after chasing down Gulu Ja. Let's speak with Otis. Memories of a night. Once Alize brings her portion, we shall have a glorious bounty to satisfy growing younglings like yourselves. Indeed, I expect there will be ample leftovers to share with the good folk of the Drift Downs. They always appreciate a warm meal. Now, seeing as you have completed your task so quickly, I have another request to make of you. We've exhausted our supplies of a kindling electrobe, and I should be grateful if you could search the houses yonder for more. In the Old Kingdom, electrobe rations were issued to each citizen. While small, fragments may still be found here and there. We can obtain five pieces, say. At least one ought to be what we require. That is the kind that converts lightning to fire. Gulu Jacques identified them by their circuitry, so pray take them to him. The boy has become quite deft at discerning electrope types in a very short time, I might add. Now, off you go, and happy foraging. Oh. We're, we're having to dig through the ruins for stuff, apparently. So, I guess let's get to it. Maybe this is what I was thinking of last time. I was like, oh, yeah, it's guarded. Yeah, I think this is the part that's guarded. Because, you know, sentries! Process Electrode. Got that. And then there's also another one here. I think this must have been what I was thinking of before. It was like having to deal with these being guarded. Hello, Process Electrode. I have a friend. Let's see if I can abandon my friend. Will it follow me? No. Okay, it's not following me. Cool. Got two here, and I guess one over in that last circle. This one. And I already see the shining piece. Okay. And I guess it's fine cool job after this. Easy peasy. Only got that grow twice. Okay. Hi, Gulija. Ota says you have a lurk for me? Wow, you found a lot. Let's see, this one creates wind, this one is for water. You can tell just it look like that? I'm impressed. Clever, isn't he? I'll bet he gets it from his father. Ah, this is it! This converts the fire. It's absorbed lots of lightning, so it should be able to kindle a flame easily. Thank you, Arya. Thanks to your kind assistance, we have everything we need for our repast. You have done your part, now I shall do mine. I bid you relax, my friends. The meal will soon be served. Oh, it's not even voiced. That's rude. This is the kind of thing families do, Ghoulish. Do, Gulija. We have meals together and talk about what's on our minds. So, you ate with your father? Yes, with them and my brothers. It was mostly the head of Resolve doing a lot of talking, though. Kuan and the head of Reason occasionally joined in and Zeralja spoke when he was spoken to. You said that you have two papas. Does that mean one is yours and the other is my father's? No, no, both are our father. He's what people call blessed siblings, a mamul jaw with two heads. Girl jaw is his true born child, while Kwan and I were adopted and don't share the same blood. But that doesn't make us any less family. What matters is that our hearts are connected. The head of resolve taught me that. Family. Do you have someone like that too? A family you think is. A person you think is family, even though you don't share the same blood? That's a good question. What about you? I do. They're very dear to me. I'd like to meet them one day. So, 
Gulisha, I'm hoping that we could be family, you and I. Won't you tell me about yourself? You really want to know about me? I do. I want to know all about you. The things you love, the things you hate, anything and everything. I want to know all about you too. That reminds me, we were hoping to hear your story too, Otis. As you wish, be forewarned that mine is a tale that'll be long in recounting. It was before lightning had altered the world that I was appointed Lord Captain of the Royal Knights. We're talking hundreds of years prior to the Calamity, right? Indeed, earlier still than when I assumed this mechanical form for 140. 54 years ago, to be precise. And you used to be a normal person. Oh yes, I was once flesh and blood like you, and I proudly served as a knight of Alexandria. So, rather than a machine that behaves like a person, you were... Are an actual person? How is that possible? Tis only natural that you're confused. Hear my tale to the end and all shall become clear. The foremost duty of the Royal Knights was the protection of the Royal Family. In my time, that was their majesties and the, the King and Queen and their only child, Her Highness the Princess. By then, every nation of our star was embroiled in some manner of conflict over Electro. Thus was our kingdom drawn into, war, into a war with its neighbor. That was, war was the catalyst for the great calamity that altered the environment. Countless countrymen lost their lives amidst the chaos. The king and queen among them. For a blessing, we were able to protect the princess, who then rose to the occasion and brought hope to her people in those trying times. So kind-hearted was our young queen that, at her behest, we even took in refugees from the enemy nation. But sadly, her reign was cut short. Like many others, her body had been ravaged by lightning, and one day she collapsed and passed away. How tragic. I, Nary was there a citizen whose eyes remained dry and many a moon was spent constructing a great tomb worthy of our memory. Yeah, I still clung to hope. Uh, yeah, I clung to hope still, for while Her Majesty was on her deathbed, the kingdom's finest scientists had ex successfully extracted her soul. Did we hear that right? Extracted her soul? Our flesh may wither and die, but so long as we are remembered, we may live on. This age of belief had always comforted our people, but as casualties mounted in the wake of the calamity, we sought to make it into reality through the power of Electrope. In time, we succeeded in developing the means to preserve the soul and was used to spare the queen eternal death. It wasn't enough to simply prevent the soul's departure, for the ultimate goal was to recreate a person as they were in life, and this required that their memories be further extracted from their soul. It took many more years of research to make this possible, which time I had become a gray old man. With my days numbered, I did not hesitate to volunteer myself as a test subject for the procedure. So it was, so it was that I attained this vessel, and by my successful rebirth, I paved the way for those who are recreated for the memories of the departed. The endless, they are called. If your tale is true, then the queen that your people brought back to life. I think we know who it is. Oh ho, so you know Her Majesty as well. My description of her boundless kindness must have paled in comparison to what you no doubt felt in her presence. I haven't met her myself, I confess, not since assuming my current form. I wouldn't want to frighten the living daylights out of her.
Hmm. The Endless. So all this time, Spin wasn't alive. She lives, yet she does not. It is admittedly a difficult distinction to make. Having inherited the memories of the departed soul, an Endless feels, thinks, and acts precisely as that person would. In that sense, I believe they are alive. The Alexandrians know about this, right? It can't have gone unknown that Spin is perpetually youthful. No one really knows about the Endless. People who wear regulators don't even think about death. Everyone sees that the Queen doesn't change, but they just accept it. To them, it's just who she is. Are there Endless apart from yourselves? Well, there should be as many Endless as those people who have died. I believe they are limited in where they can exist. Queen Spina is unique in her ability to appear before you. Strictly speaking, I myself am not an Endless. They, they are created using memories extracted from a soul, but my entire soul was placed inside a machine. Being inside a machine makes you different... how? Well, I didn't understand the finer points. My life is bound to this vessel. If it breaks down, then it would be over for me, much like a being of flesh and blood. Hardly an endless, unchanging life, I am sure you'll agree. An endless, unchanging life. I can't help but be reminded of the Aya. Did Kakiwa and the others know all about this? Considering their... I just found my mic, I'm sorry. Considering their extensive intelligence gathering, I'd be surprised if they didn't. For now, let's share what we've learned with Kryle and Raha. <laughs> Can't help but have misgivings about this. Nahe! Is that you? Good gods, Ellen Nespia! It's been too long, my friend! Where have you been all these years? What have you been doing with yourself? Hold on. They say Queen Sphine has guests from outside the barrier. That's you, I gather? <laughs> It seems so. I'm looking for my mother. Do you know where she is? Your mother? <laughs> Sorry, but what was she like again? What? It's Kafkiwa. You know, the one who was too adventurous by half? Who, who journeyed with the Dawn Servant? Hmm... It's not ringing any bells. You can't be serious. Ours was a tiny little village. Surely you remember her. I really don't. It's all a blank. Is anyone else here from the village? Hey! Huh? Ellen Espia? Huh? I'm looking for Kafkiwa. Where is she? Wh what's this all of a sudden? Who's Kafkiwa? This... This cannot be. The memories of the departed are taken away. No. Would you? 
Hmm. At a crossroads. Although the mood be came a tad subdued at the end, I thoroughly enjoyed that we past together. We did too, Otis. To hear about the Endless was something of a shock, but we likewise enjoyed your company. Above all, I'm glad that you and I could talk, Gulija. We're going to get along great. I just know it. You, you think so? <laughs> I'm happy for you, my boy. Now then, I presume you will be returning to Everkeep. Permit me to accompany you at least part of the way. About Sveen? It doesn't matter to me if she's in Endless, whether she's alive, like you, like you and me or not. I have seen enough to know that she has a good heart. What worries me is the burden she bears, but we still don't know what it is. I expect there are things she can't tell us, not as the rules she'll watching, but at the very least, I'd like to know what the Endless are to her. Sorry, I didn't mean to delay us. I just felt the urge to share my thoughts with you. Oh, on the way back, let's make a quick stop at the Drift Downs. I want to tell Tabu how it went. Okay. No problem. Because, on the way back, there's a blue quest down there! Oh, you're hiding up to the side, huh? He who remembers. Now, here's a face I haven't seen around these parts before. Hmm, can I borrow a moment of your time? You see, a member of our group has been making frequent trips up the hill to the graveyard. I suspect there's a problem, but he doesn't seem willing to talk about it. Not to us, anyway. A stranger willing to lend a friendly ear, however, may convince him to open up. If it's not too much to ask, will you travel to, out to the name slates and speak to him? The man you're looking for is a Chitona, like myself. Hello, sightseeing point near the graveyard visitor. Don't mind me, I'm just taking a small trip up here real quick. This is another hunt spawn point. Looks like there's no friends here right now. Alright. Site Vista. The name slates. Tucked away in a remote corner of Yasulani, this small cemetery is a relic of earlier times. Now that the wearing of regulars has become commonplace, the culture of digging graves has largely been forgotten in Tim Sum's car with the names that the deceased consider an odd and antiquated custom. Hello. I must admit, this is not the sort of place one expects to make idle conversation with strangers. Are you one of those travelers from beyond the barrier everyone's been talking about? That explains why I haven't seen you around. Let me ask you something, outsider. Have you ever visited a, a grave to pay your respects? Yeah. Honoring the dead is a common aspect of many cultures, I suppose. In that case, perhaps you could help me with something. Take a stroll around the area. If you happen to spot any particularly grimy gravestones, I ask that you wipe them off. It's a lot of work for one man alone, so your assistance would mean a great deal to me. Oh. There's a lot of grimy grim gravestones. Grave stones. Wow, I can speak, I promise. Maybe if I emphasize like this, I will speak better. And then you will hear every single S I speak when I speak like this. Okay, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm just trying to pass the time between the gravestones. for these, like, being an antiquated custom. Here I am cleaning off gravestones. This one's taking a while. Cool. And that's it? That's it? Cool! I'm cool with that. Those gravestones look much better now, thanks to you. Perhaps I should say name Slate. Too bad the names are all written in Alexandrian. I can't make heads or tails of them. You know about the regular regulars people wear these days. Whenever someone dies, every last memory of their existence is erased. As an unfortunate consequence, this graveyard has all has been all but abandoned. I'm gonna fix that. What else am I to do? Stand idly by and let the headstones be lost to time? No. If no one else will give a damn, then it will have to be me. In Terrell, I was taught to honor the dead, but here I am in the minority. 
Both seem content to forget and trust their memories to the cloud. I accidentally skipped a line. That's why I can't talk about it with the others. They won't understand. Not like you do. Thanks again, stranger. I'm sorry, I accidentally double clicked. I forget how expensive my new house is. Um, I'm gonna actually go to the outskirts instead of Electrope Strait because I think it's a little closer. So this could be with Tapu, or I could be with Aeopa. Fight for survival. Excuse me, do you have a moment? If you're headed south, I would ask a favor. My friend went out to study the plant life and hasn't been back. He has a bad habit of getting absorbed in his work and losing track of time. Last I saw him, he was headed southeast of here. If you could just check in on him, I would certainly appreciate it. I'm doing a very good job of defending the local wildlife. Now that this is a fascinating succulent, its development is clearly abnormal proof perhaps that the species has adapted to its new environment over time. Hello there, stranger. What are you doing out here? For that matter, what am I doing out here? Did I get distracted and wander out of the safe zone again? Yeah, uh, Yayapa is probably worried sick about me. I'll have to thank her for sending you. First, we need to hurry back to the drift down before some terrifying creatures try creature tries to ruin our day. Escorted, blah 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 blah. I'll slow you down. You're already slowing me down by saying I'll try not to slow you down. Okay, can I like I feel like it's probably a bad idea to mount. Oh yeah, I'm gonna leave him behind. I'm definitely gonna leave him behind. I guess I'll buff now. Are you? Oh, hello, elephant. We're gonna take the roundabout way around the elephant. Hope you don't mind, Mr. Mr. Phytologist. I just, you know, have this. Ouch. I'm already hitting it. This elephant is just like, no, I'm gonna like charge. Charge at the enemy. Not can't, not gonna die here. I love to see your health bar. You're not dead. Oh, right. Don't want to mount. Fine. I feel like there's another fight. So I'm just gonna buff. Oh hey, it's my turret friends. They haven't wanted to give me a hug yet. Okay. Yeah. Why did I say something? The turret wants to give me a hug. No! No! Okay. I missed the phytologist. Thankfully. Turret, do you mind? Personal space. Huh. Welcome back. Glad to see you're both in one piece. Forgive me, Ayopa. I was so focused on the plants, I nearly wanted to head first into danger. Fion sent this kind stranger my way. There's no telling what might have happened. Now, I better document my findings before I forget. Thanks again, ladies. Yeah, I need, I need time. Sorry about him. He grew up in Everkeep, you see, so he's not used to seeing plants in their native habitat. And Heritage Found is rather unique in that regard. Thirty years ago, when the geography changed, a vast swath of native flora died out while the rest were forced to mutate drastically in order to survive. Worthy of studying, I'm sure. Still, he ought to know it's not safe out here. I wish he wouldn't be so careless. In any case, I'm grateful to you for keeping him safe. And as he didn't think to reward you for it, I suppose I'll have to do it. Uh, I swear, he'd forget his head if it wasn't attached. Oh, well, at least he gave me. This the fate is really something. We'll just be what's up and not get too distracted here. Ah, you are returned. Were you able to find Guluja? We were, thanks to you. All is well with the boy. I'm relieved to hear that. And to know that he has family who worries for him. Guluja too must be Gulu Jatu must be glad. <laughs> I hope so. I'll try not to rush or force anything, though. It's for him to decide what I am to him. 
My, what a pleasant surprise it is to see meet you in these parts. Sveen, what are you doing here? Visiting my people. Are you doing the same, perchance? I suppose we are, yes. Listen, there's something we'd like to talk to you about. Could we have a word in private? know about the Endless. <laughs> While we may not have discussed it openly, my people will surely have noticed that I haven't changed for hundreds of years. I've made no attempt to conceal my nature. But I may ask, though, who was it that told you about the Endless? Only a few should be familiar with the concept. I'm afraid I can't say. I bear no ill will towards this mysterious individual, lest that be your concern. I'm merely curious. Tell me, Sveen, you care for your people that much as plain. Am I to assume you care for the Endless, too? And I assume you care for the Endless, too. Earlier in Everkeep, there was something that you wanted to tell us. Was it to do with them? The Endless are as dear to me as my living citizens. They are as much my family. But they can only be sustained by meeting certain exacting requirements. That's what are we've managed to do so, but should more people die, I fear we would be pushed beyond our limit. Their preservation demands vast amounts of energy. Energy? I don't understand the workings of it all, but is there something we can do to help? Then... Would you be willing to become Alexandrian citizens? W what? I have my nation, my people, to protect. I can't just become Alexandrian. I indeed, I suppose you cannot. First, you tell us to make peace, and you tell us to go home. What exactly is it that you want? The same as you, of course, to protect my people. Is there something that only Zorolja can do? That, I cannot say. I do not ask that you understand or like me, but I wish... I wish we had been born on the same side of it. Hey! What do you mean by that? Wait! Sveen! Damn it. Well, I think we've kept everyone waiting long enough. Let's continue on to Everkeep. And let's not tell Otis about our conversation with Sveen. I don't want to risk causing him pain. Ah, this part. There was a mass disconnect when I first went through this. Was Why fun. don't you come with us? You might get to see Sveen. Ah, tis a magnanimous and much appreciated offer, but I must decline. A part of me longs for an audience with Her Majesty, it is true. Yet, though it be in my previous life, I have failed to protect my queen. I couldn't bear to show my face before her. And such an uncomely one besides. <laughs> All right. If that's how you feel, we won't force you. But rest assured, we'll visit with Gululja, and we hope you'll cook for us again. <gasps> it would be my pleasure. You are welcome to bring other comrades should you so desire. The more, the merrier. I've been looking all over for you!
Nostalgia, was it? What's the matter? <sighs> it's Zeralja. He marches to Vanguard. Done waiting. But why weren't we alerted sooner? Our transmissions are being jammed. The lookouts couldn't get through to us. Why Akoi is at Vanguard too, but I can't reach her. Oh, what are we to do? Stay calm. Kafkiwa has yet to be alerted, yes? Take word to the back room as fast as you can. Our link pearls may still work. I'll try contacting those in Tuliolo. Oris, I need you to keep Guloja safe. You needn't ask. I want to go with you! Absolutely not. A battle's no place for you. Kuruja, the people of the outskirts must be evacuated. For this crucial task, I require your assistance. Remember, when battle is at hand, anything can happen. Caution is as valuable as any blade. Yes, sir! I managed to get hold of Alphano. He'll inform Kona. Good. How's the situation in Tulichola? There's nothing to worry about, or so my brother assured me. With such short notice, though, I doubt they'll be fully prepared. They'll be ready, I'm sure of it. The vow of reason is not to be underestimated. Coming, Soralja. And we will finish this once and for all. Oh, I think I was thinking the next. This is the moment of truth. We have to hold Zorolja here. I know exactly how to do that. Okay, yeah, it was the next cutscene after. So, thank you for watching. We will see you with the little come on next time. Enjoy the video. Consider tossing a like, comment, subscribe, click the little bell for notifications. You can also come hang out on Discord. Get notifications there too. Find a link for that in the description below. Mom links to me on social media. So, thank you again for watching. And until next time, this is Rinium T signing out. Bye.